What up, guys? It's your boy Matt and Matt with my man B3 right here next to me. Mm -hmm. Sipping on a little water. He's got a cough going on here today, so he's gonna, gonna sit there and suck on some water and ease his throat a little bit. But we got another kicking. Oh, shit. There you go. There you <laughs> kicking. Grabbing novel review. Today we have Flashpoint, as we hinted at last time. Another it's Jeff Johns, keeping it rolling. Woo! With Jeff Johns. The whole last one wasn't. No, but we do a lot of Jeff Johns here. It was the last one. Oh, I thought it was Peter J. Tomashi. I thought so. Sure. Did. I, I know I know these names. Sure. Did. <laughs> I did. <laughs> so, uh, this is anybody who's watching this has probably seen something about Flashpoint, knows about Flashpoint. It's kind of a big deal. Yeah, we were just talking. It's like one of the most popular Flash stories in the past decade. I'd say it's probably one of the more popular DC stories in the past, yeah, in the past decade, by probably. far and away. It was a line-wide event. And um, it kind of set up the new 52. Yeah, it's got an animated movie, it's got this fucking comic, a bunch of World of Flashpoint comics, too. Mm -hmm. um, and The Flash Season 3. Yeah, like the whole beginning of that season was Flashpoint, and the rest of the season was the ramifications of Flashpoint. Uh, and it's then they're good. calling the Flash movie, which I honestly think is going to be bad because it's been in production hell. Uh, lots of people have dropped out of it. Oh, God, no. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's called Flashpoint. Hopefully it's not this same story. Because we need a little mix-up. Because I've seen it enough, man. I want to see something new, buttfucker. The only problem is that if they do something different, diverge from this, you know the fan outcries going to be, oh, it's not Flash. It's not my Flashpoint. They fucking no, did it with Age of Ultron. Everyone fucking loved that movie, even though it really wasn't that good. At all. <laughs> yeah, that, that movie did coast by on its cast of characters and the residual love from yeah. the first Avengers movie. Because I read like the first half of Age of Ultron. I was getting the books, but they were weekly, and I was like, I can't afford this shit. But it was post-apocalyptic world ruled by Ultron. Yeah, different conversation. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely same conversation. It's <laughs> relevant. Well. But, yeah, this is a good book. It is a very good book. It is a very important book. Yeah, it... Because he ran through time, saves his mom, which is the big twist at the end, is that he caused the Flashpoint and not... Not Reverse Zoom. Flash Professor Zoom. Ebert Thorne. Ebard Thune. God, he's Dick. a crazy... It's so... And I love that he's sitting there taunting over the Flash. God. And Batman. I think right now, in Rebirth, there might be two Eobard Thons running around. Yeah. No, That's terrifying. Not. There's not. There were. Because one, that one came back for the button. And then there's the regular one from that universe. You think there might be two? Oh, yeah. There were two of them existing for a little bit in Rebirth. Because this one came back via the button's radiation and stuff. Okay. And there was one locked up in Iron Heights, the that continuity's version. Who I, ju I just got volume 8 of... New 52 Flash, where he comes in. Okay. We're going to do all a New 52 Flash, by the way. I have the whole run now. One so I, I can't wait to read that. Yeah. Maybe, Maybe save it for December. Like I mean, I'm, I'm reading them just now, so I'm going to wait a while before I read them again anyway. So. Makes sense. So we can start whatever books we want when you come back in December. So. Ah. But yeah, so that's enough about the villain of the book. I mean, he is the villain in the book. but Kind of important. Aquaman and Wonder Woman are also villains in the book. Yeah, yeah. They're waging a war with each other that's destroying the, the surface. Planet. I mean, like, she... Well, she does wipe out the UK and makes it new for mascara. Yeah, and freaking Aquaman sinks half of Europe. Which, I don't understand why they're using... What, what was like, yep, tactically, I need to take the UK so I can take down Aquaman's bitch ass. Well, when they were planning this, they probably had it all happening in Europe so that they could use American locations if they needed to. Because if, like... Because they go to Metropolis in this. They're in Gotham in mm -hmm. this. They're in Central City in this. If half of the U.S. is sunk, they can't do what, all that What stuff. was the point of sinking half of Europe? Or taking the, or taking Great Britain, tactically? They were scared. Well, they didn't suddenly need the territory. They had enough for the, their population. Yeah, I don't fucking know. Yeah. Sorry. Just minor griping of a bit of a history. Not it's history. pretty dope, though. Yes. So... Uh, we begin our story with uh, Barry not having super speed, crashing down a flight of stairs, and then his mom's there. What? Which didn't seem to be as much of a shock to him as it should have been, considering she's been dead, dead. most of his life. <laughs> oh, yeah. That the she was like ten. That the driving force behind most of your life and you're becoming a hero is that you didn't want to see that happen to people. Yeah. And 
And you wanted to find justice for people instead of having the wrong person go to prison like your dad? Yeah. It, it's almost like if... I would compare it to, like, Bruce Wayne walks into the Batcave, his parents are there, and he's like, Oh my god, where's Alfred? Bruce Wayne would fall on the ground and cry if he saw his parents. He's yeah. a little bitch when it comes to his parents. <laughs> but that's what I'm comparing it to. It's like this major driving force, and you're like, Oh my god, oh by the way, where's Alfred? Or Yeah. Speaking like, oh, of Batman, it. very cool version of him. In very here. cool version, Thomas Wayne. Thomas Wayne. He's also the one of the Batman on, in the Earth 2 story. Oh, okay. It's like an alternate, which is one of the parallel universes. Mm -hmm. So you can get to that at some point, too. It's pretty cool. And this is not a Batman who fucks around, though. No, he's a murderer. <laughs> Straight, like, vigilante. <laughs> Trying to kill Yo-Yo or whoever. Mm-hmm. But uh, it's a little messed up. Yeah, I mean... It doesn't really talk about it in here, but... His wife became the Joker, and I actually have that story, too. Which, that is just... She's a child serial killer. It's pretty crazy. And it's terrifying. I did know a little bit about that, actually, because after watching the Flashpoint Paradox movie, I had to yeah. go look up more stuff about yeah, it. Yeah, because lots of... The movie uh, touches on a lot of stuff mm -hmm. that's not in here, lots of stuff that's actual side stories in and, the comics that kind it, of frame the world. You yeah, know? and it does reference the Joker in that movie. Yeah. Not the fucked up shit she does in the comics. Bro. Well, yeah, they don't sell comics. You talk about. I'm not even going to tell you about it because I want you to read it if you haven't already spoiled it for yourself. I haven't actually. I just do a little bit about it. It's pretty cool. So, um, but yeah, there's this massive war going on, and that's a bit of a problem. And Barry started to realize that wait, memories of this other timeline and this current timeline are not matching up. And suddenly, all the memories of the timeline he's created start flooding into his head and wiping out previous memories. Yeah. Tom Swain's like, don't you forget my fucking son. I'm going to help you get your powers back and rewrite time because so I don't want to live and I want my son to. <laughs> yeah, no, it, which I, I think is very parental response. Like giving your, it's to him, it's like giving his life to save his kid. I am going to give you one little spoiler. Please. <laughs> Please. <laughs> when uh, he, he's actually telling the Joker, his wife the Joker, uh, at, at, towards the end of that story, he's like, I found a way to change our world, to get rid of it so that we died instead of Bruce. And she's like, promise me you're going to do it. And he's like, I will. And she's like, do you know anything about him? And he's like, what's he doing? And he's like, uh, he follows in his father's footsteps. She's like, so he's a doctor? And he goes, no. And then something else happens. It's pretty crazy. So <laughs> oh. she's like crying because she doesn't want her son to have to be Batman. Batman. It's yeah. so emotional. And Isn't like, that what the letter he I'm sends? Cry about it. <laughs> no, it's okay. No, like, the letter tells Bruce about how proud he is of him. You're thinking of in the button when they meet and he tells gotcha. Bruce he doesn't have to Don't be Batman. Batman. Okay. We'll read that Woo! at some point too. We're, I know we're talking a lot this morning. We've been trying to keep it shorter, but there's so much. There's so much going on. This and this has so much relevance to a lot of other timelines. I mean, it's a line wide event. You can't talk in. You can't say enough about a line-wide event in five minutes. It's true. Uh, especially with multiple people, given their viewpoints. <laughs> especially when it's us and we're both talkative people. Yeah, we're, we're, we're just passionate. And that's why you should subscribe. <laughs> and share and like and do all that good stuff. Do it. But it's yeah, like... so eventually he does run back through time. And they kind of, like, the thing they were going with first is that Pandora messed with the universe. Mm -hmm. So you kind of see her in the back. And then Trinity, fuck him. Now I'm burping. I stopped coughing. Now he's burping. You're having hard <laughs> gastric troubles over here. <laughs> but um, yeah, and then they didn't go with that. Now she's dead. So <laughs> they kind of tied up that plot point by having the person who's now allegedly been messing with it murder her. Doctor Manhattan is definitely the one who killed her. Yeah, like. there's a lot of Doctor Man Manhattan references throughout everything. Yeah. Uh. Superman f starts fighting him in November, so when you come back, I can start to tell you about it. Sweet. Or I can text you about it, whatever the fuck. <laughs> Facebook messengers is going to be a yeah, way to get me, because yeah. I don't have a new phone. Yeah, and it'll be expensive for texting, I think. Yeah, it's going to be, it's gonna be like, you know, like 30 cents a text or something like that. Mm. It's awful. Unless you have Verizon, I think it's fine. No Verizon? No. Nope. Yeah, I'll just Facebook message. Yeah, just Facebook message. <laughs> but uh, it's... <coughs> It's so important, guys, and it's so it's it's got a lot going on in it, but it's well written, it's cohesive, it's easy to understand. It created the new Fifty Two. Kind of important. Lots of people, the people who don't like the new Fifty Two actually like Flashpoint, so that'll yeah, that doesn't do anything. <laughs> and it's a great story, and those people can just pretend that it goes back to the normal universe after he fixes everything, yeah. rather than all those universes converging. 
Flash kind of sucks for a little bit after this story, actually. Really? Yeah, you know, like the first three or four volumes of Flash are pretty bad. <laughs> it's good around volume five, though. Okay. As long as he kind of picks back up eventually. Yeah, because it started up and he, like, forgot he had half his powers. And I was like, because they took ten years away from everything. Right. I was like, Barry. <laughs> I forgot how to think at super speed. Create a costume using the speed force. Forgot how to... Do all this shit. Piss me That's off. That's obnoxious. I was like, God, it feels like I'm back at square fucking one. Which is what I was supposed to do for new readers, but for me it was like awful. Awful. <laughs> but um honestly we could talk about this for another three hours and the relevance of its, you know, after effects and what it's, it's done to timelines, but Jeff Johns, read it. you know. The man. They don't do anything major without having Jeff Johns involved. The he's, man, the myth, the legend. He's like he's He's writing DC. He's a god. <laughs> He's absolutely a god. To them, anyways, and yeah. to me. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so that's good, right? It, I think that's it. That's all we can really realistically say. We've already taken a lot of time up here. Yeah, we're going to set <coughs> Jeff Jones aside for a little while, because we're going to do one more DC book, I think, before you go, unless you want to yeah. read more today. But we can do whatever. We can watch TV, play games, I don't give a shit. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Yeah, but next up, we. <laughs> this is gonna be a fuck. This will be a long one. Oh. Final Crisis! Everyone's quote unquote favorite book. Get away from me. <laughs> Don't touch me with that blasphemy. Yeah, but let's, uh, <laughs> let's get into this later. Later! <laughs> uh, but yeah, today we have Flashpoint, Jeff Johns, and Andy, is that his name? Fucking. Yeah, Andy Kubert. I couldn't remember his last name for a second there. I don't know who Sandra Hope is, but I know the other two. So, uh, check it out, guys. It's awesome. It's a great book. They're reprinting it all the time. I'm sure. People buy it all, all the time. For, you can buy it for, like, nothing, I'm sure. The movie based on it's pretty good. Go check out the movie if you're yeah. lazy and don't want to buy these. The TV arc about it's not good at all, but you do have to watch Flash beg Reverse Flash to kill his mom again, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Did you start Flash yet? I'm in, like, season two. I'm sorry. It's still awesome to watch <laughs> I, I, as soon as I said that, I was like, fuck. I know he's watching Supergirl. I don't know if he's watching Flash. Uh, it's all good. I forgive you. <coughs> it's like the least big spoiler I could have given. Uh, yeah, it's all good. It was pretty good, though. But that's it. Next time, we got a, another line-wide thing going on. But that's Great. it. Thank you all very much for your support. Rate, comment, subscribe. Check it all out. Um, and we're going to have more Marvel and IDW and stuff coming soon. We're going to take a big Once DC I'm break. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do that for you guys. Because I want to read more DC too. It's <laughs> most of what I buy, but uh, I still have lots of other stuff too. Big whole stack of Thor I haven't read yet. Ooh, that'd be good. Yeah, I, I also got. Thor. Yeah, but that's it. Thank you all very much, and I'll see you all <coughs> later. Oh fuck. <laughs> Bye guys.